fitness friends, today we're doing another Pilates inspired routine. This is going to be done in pit style, which is Pilates intense interval training. There's going to be three groups with five moves in them each. Each of these groups will repeat twice for 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You won't need any equipment at all. And our last section is going to be part four. There's going to be six moves. We're just going to go through that one time. So. If you have a net, you might want to grab that. If not, you can just do this right on your floor. If you have a towel, get some water, and let's get ready to get our Pilates movements on. All right, everyone, I hope you're all ready to get started. We're going to begin our first 10-minute pit interval. <laughs> It'll be five moves that we repeat twice. So I have my timer started, our 10-second countdown. Our first move, we're going to be laying down on our side and working that lower leg. So you're going to pull that front leg forward as far as you can, as far as you are comfortable. If you cannot do that, that does not feel good, you can put it behind your leg, okay? However you do it, you want to make sure that your body is nice and straight and elongated. You can lay down flat, you can be up. We are lifting and lowering our bottom leg. Make sure your toes are pointed down and your heel is up. It really intensifies this movement. It's a small range of motion, but it's really effective. Go ahead and look down there. Make sure your toes are pointed down. That's really, really hard to do. Mine are barely pointed down. <laughs> I am not the most flexible person, but that's okay. That is why we challenge ourselves with these moves. Keep that toe pointed down. That heel is going up throughout the whole movement. Yes. Okay. Next we're doing upper leg circles. So you want to keep those legs out nice. You're going to stay on the same side of your body. This leg is going to be going forward and then halfway through we're going to switch directions. You can keep your foot flexed for this. Have your toe semi-pointed downward. Make sure your body's staying nice and elongated. Have that hand out here to help balance you on your side. In about five seconds, we're gonna switch directions. Nice big circles here. Okay, switch. on the side of your body. You can feel like you're driving that pinky toe on the bottom leg into the corner of your mat. Okay, we are on to our next move, which is just the same leg. We're gonna be lifting and lowering. Your toe is gonna to be pointed down, your heel up, okay? So lift and lower. I already feel that burn in my glute area, my lower glute area. You can't have the phone. I know you want it. Where's your ball? <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. Thank you. All right, keep going. I feel that burn. You have 10 seconds left. Keep lifting and lowering. Yeah. Okay, next we are moving into a more, more of a very uh, high intensity move. We are doing T-stand toe taps in the front and back, and we're alternating. So you're up in your high plank position, or down on your knees, okay? I'm going high plank. I have to protect my phone. Up into a T-stand. Take that top leg, tap it forward, and then tap it back behind you. And then bring it straight down. And you're switching sides. T-stand. Tap in front, tap behind. Stay with me. Really feel the squeeze in your glutes. Keep your hip up nice and high. Pull through that whole abdominal core region. 
You'll feel this in your shoulders as well. Okay, nice work. We're going straight into pike glute raises. So you're up in a pike position, your butt's up in the air. We're gonna lift on the same leg the whole time. And then we're gonna use the next leg on our second round. You can keep that leg straight. You can even do a tuck in if you want. This is our fifth move in this first group. Stay strong. Keep that nice tight position. Abs are tight. on the other side of your body this time. Get that leg up in front of you. Remember your toe is pointed down, your heel is up. Small range of motion, a lot of burn. Please make sure that toe is pointed down. You'll feel it so much more. It's really, really easy to let that toe just come up like that just to get a better range of motion. But that is not what we're going for. Elongate your spine. Stick with it. Oh, my inner thighs. I can totally feel it. Halfway through the timer. Remember that bottom toe is going to be driving into your mat to help you balance. You can lay your head down if you want. Keep the angle of that top foot's toe going down as well. Your abs are tight. Pull in through your core. Balance yourself with your bottom foot. Nice work, switch directions. We're already halfway through. Make sure you're breathing through these movements. Okay, nice work. Now we're doing our leg lifts. So if you want to keep that leg elevated during these 10 second interval breaks, go ahead. Here we go. Lift and lower. Get a nice big range of motion here. Make sure you're breathing. Nice work.
Last, we have our pike glute raises. So get up in your pike position. You bring your opposite leg this time. Lifting, and I really like that tuck movement in too. So I'm gonna tuck and lift. Pike glute raise with the knee tuck. Shoulders are strong. Feel that glute muscle. Really squeeze it when you kick up. We're tightening and toning here. Come on, 10 seconds. Good work. That's our first 10 minute interval finished. All right, we're ready to move straight on into our second 10 minute portion. Five new moves, 10 second countdown has started. We're beginning with some tricep killers. Single leg tricep push-ups and two glute raises. If you cannot do a single leg tricep push-up, do it from both legs or do it from your knees. You can go just like this. Tricep push-up, glute raise. Okay? Do challenge yourself though. These our moves are very, very hard and they will build your strength oh, and your balance and your endurance. Tone up your muscles in your body. For your tricep push-up, make sure your hands are close to your body, they're directly underneath your shoulders. Those elbows are grazing your rib cage as you go down. They're not popping out. And really staying in and tight to your body. Hey, nice work. Now we're going on to a move called a turbo dog. What you're gonna be doing is you're up in a pike again. Nice deep pike position. Hands are in front of you. Uh, probably about a foot out from your body. You're tapping those elbows down and pushing them straight back up. Keep your head down and you're like downward dog position. If you're more flexible than me and you got this downward dog, your feet and your heels are totally planted on the ground. Tap those elbows down and up. Down and up. Get comfortable in that downward dog position. If the elbow tap is too difficult, just hold the downward dog. And you all are thinking, I thought this was Pilates. I didn't know that this was yoga. <laughs> well, uh, so the thing is with me, when I find a move and I think it works and it's really good, I don't really need to categorize it. I put it in my routines, right? Because the whole, it's holistic, right? We're working on our mind, our body. And if the move works, we'll include it. Okay, that was our timer. We are doing single leg arm circles. Stand up in a T position. Get that leg up. Go forward with your arm circles. We're going to switch direction and switch legs halfway through. Good job. Get ready for the switch. Pull that leg up nice and high. Engage your core. You're working your shoulders. I can totally feel my shoulders after doing those turbo dogs. Nice work. We're staying up in our standing position for our next movement. We're doing plie squat pulses and a prayer arm pulse. So get your elbows together and your palms together. Match them up. It's a small movement and we're pulsing. Make sure your arms are coming up and down. Your elbows should kind of be moving from like your chin to your nose. That's, the sh that's how short this movement is. Oh my gosh, I can already totally feel it in my shoulders burning. Also my glutes with this squat. In a plie pulse, your toes are pointed outward, your legs are nice and wide. Keep going, 20 seconds. Nice work, stay with it. Oh, 
I'm shaking, my arms are shaking, holding this pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Our next move is another shoulder mover in the plank. We're doing plank taps and shoulder man knee tucks. So you can tap your foot down up and tap the same shoulder with the hand. Or you can hold that leg up off the ground for the more challenging. You can do a knee tuck or you can do a toe tap. Either way, you're moving the same arm and the same leg on the same side of your body, okay? So you're gonna do the knee tuck. It's way more challenging to get your balance because you're tapping the same arm. You're totally loading the one side of your body and squeezing the other. Stay with it. Keep your core tight. This is our last move in this group. And we're moving back up to the top. Okay. Single leg, tricep push-ups into glute raises. Stay with me, shake out those arms. Okay, here we go. Hands are directly under your shoulders. Elbows stay close to your body. Squeeze that glute. Come on, stay strong. 20 seconds. Remember, you can do them from your knees. Either way, keep your form tight. You have a baba. Okay. Whew, turbo dogs. Remember, if you cannot go down to your elbows, if that's not comfortable for you, just stay up in a downward dog position for 50 seconds. Okay, here we go. You're just tapping those elbows down lightly. Your head is staying down.
Come on, there's only 10 seconds left. And in. I know 
know you want the phone, but you can't have it now. You can't have it now. Yeah. Your leg is going out and in. Try to get out to 90 degrees. Keep that butt up off the floor. Breathe it out. You've got it. Okay, Whew. we're into our last move of this section. You're putting your heels together. Your knees are nice and far apart. You bring those legs out and in. Keep those heels together the whole time. Out and in. This is an ab move. Your back is flat against the mat. Make it look pretty. You can put your hands under your butt if you need to, or behind your head for more advanced. Don't let your back come off the mat. Come on, stay strong. Keep those abs tight. Keep that stomach sucked in. Don't press your abs out. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go. Stay with me. There we go. Oh, fitness. Back to the top. Single leg, glute raise, and pulses. Just lay this little top underneath my lower back. Okay, let's go. Get that leg up. I don't remember which one I started on last time, but this is how we're doing it this time. <laughs> right leg, left leg, you pick. Oh, that's right, I'm pulsing. Down, don't rest your butt. Pulse. Down. Point that other foot. Work through that whole leg if you're pointing your toe. I'm going to get nice long lean legs. Work on squeezing those muscles even when you're not really working that leg. Goodness, I can totally feel that in my glute. Okay, switch legs. Long knee legs. Nice round booties. That's what we're working on here. Also, strength, range of motion, endurance. Mwah. 
thank you. I love you. Mwah. Thank you. I almost smashed my face. Mwah. Oh, okay. All right, our last one in the set is those heels together, legs in and out. So get those legs raised nicely, snap those heels together, put those knees nice and wide. Your abs are tight, your back is flat against your mat. Suck your stomach in, or how the fitness world likes to say it, draw your navel to your spine. <laughs> I really think that just means sucking your stomach. I'm not sure why they don't just say that. I guess it sounds better to say suck your navel to your spine. Focus and breathe. Don't forget to breathe when you're doing abs. You can put your hands below your butt or behind your head or on the ground next to you. Just keep your heels together. Nice work. Okay, we are finished with our last 10 minute portion. The last six minutes I have for you is going, for us, is going to be more of like a cardio bar type movement. So if you want to grab a chair, you can. I'm going to have mine just in case. I'm not sure how I'm going to do. If you have really good balance and really course, great, great core stability, you want to keep your arms up above your head the whole time and work your whole shoulders, your spine will be elongated. I'm going to start our 10 second countdown. We have, oops, we have only six moves, so it's going to be six minutes long. We're only going through these once. 10 second countdown started. First, we're starting with just standing straight up tall, lift one leg up, Sorry. and you're straightening and you bringing it back in. Okay? I'm going to begin on this leg. So straighten, bring it in. Straighten, bring it in. You can point your toe, you can flex your toe. Either way, you're going to feel it through your whole whew, quad. You'll feel it on your supporting leg. You'll feel it in your abdominal region, holding that leg up in a nice 90 degree angle from your stump, from your body. Try to get that leg out nice and straight. I am not the most flexible, but I really try. And that's what is important. We're working our bodies, making gains. That's why we do these routines. Breathe. Oh my goodness, I feel it. Stay strong. Okay, switching legs. Here we go. Out, in. You might notice that you're more flexible or more stable on one side than the other, and that's okay. Everybody has a better side. But we have to work them both. These types of movements actually help with doing a lot of other things in our life. Even if you're thinking of like, okay, gosh, I can't do a pistol squat. This movement will help you because you're going to be balancing, which is a huge part of doing a pistol squat, and you're holding that leg up like you would be the whole time doing your pistol squat. This also helps with everything in life. All that flexibility, range of motion, core strength. Okay, next we're doing a hamstring bend. So if you want to hold a chair to lean over, you can. You can hold onto the wall, whatever you want. What you're going to be doing is have that leg out behind you at about 45 degrees. You're pulling that leg in and feel it through that hamstring. Focus on that butt muscle. I'm going to turn like this just so maybe you'll be able to see. I feel it like a knife in my hamstring. It almost feels like it's going to cramp up on me. I know it's not going to but I really feel it. Hold your hands however you like. You want to do a prayer pose. You want to keep them out to the side. You want to hold on to a chair. Any of that is fine. Stay strong. You can do this movement without focusing on that muscle and you won't feel it at all. But if you are pulling it in and tightening, you'll really feel it. 
Switch legs. Here we go. Get that leg out. Curl it in. Whew. This first couple, I swear it feels like my hamstring is just going to go into a ball cramp. Really tighten it. Really squeeze. Keep those arms up. So I guess we did Pilates, we did yoga, we're doing cardio bar, we did some hip moves. We did it all today. Nice work. And it's all been done without equipment and right on our mat. You can do this exercise routine anywhere. Okay, let me see what our next move is. Oh yes, we're doing leg lifts around the world. So again, Staying on one leg the whole time. Arms are up. We're lifting at 12 o'clock. In the middle, one and two. Three o'clock, lifting behind you. In between four and five, and six o'clock, okay? Repeat. Nice work. Abs are tight. Toe is pointed on the kicks. Squeeze those glutes and those rear, rear kicks. Keep at it. We're just switching legs for the next round. So 12 o'clock, we'll say one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four and five, and six. Next work, Whew. switch legs. This is it, and then we are finished with this routine. I'm glad I'm sweated wet. I got a nice, nice glow going here. Lift. These are nice stretches too. I can really feel this, that front kick totally stretching my hamstring, especially after doing those pulls. Nice work. Balance your body. If you can keep your leg up the whole time, go ahead. I'm just tapping down. Stay with it. Breathe, nice work. All right, we are finished with our 36 minute no equipment pit. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this routine. Let me know what you liked and I'll see you next time.